Thanks, Craig. Dunk Island was once a jewel in the crown of far north Queensland tourism, but these days it's a very rough diamond at best. Destroyed twice over by cyclones, the Dunk Island Resort has been closed for seven years and the island's camping ground on a state government lease is a little shabby. Frustrated locals are hoping some of that may be about to change. Dunk Island is a stone's throw from Mission Beach with stunning views, remarkable rainforest and easy access to the Great Barrier Reef. Dunk Island is a beautiful day trip destination. But the island's seen better days. The only resort was devastated by Cyclone Yasi seven years ago, before being bought up cheap by Link Energy founder Peter Bond. It's now controlled by his son Adam. With most of the damage unrepaired, it looks like the storm blew through yesterday. And it's a bit of an eyesore, but in the same token, on the flip side, you can explain to people where we've come from. This is the Category 5 storm that we had, and that's what it did to this whole region. If I left my house like that, the council wouldn't allow me to leave it like that. The neighbouring spit is on a long-term state government lease inside the National Park, with campgrounds, picnic areas and a bar. That's probably got to be one of the most you know, sought-after pieces of real estate on the coast. Until recently, the lease was held by the resort's owners. But now, it's up for grabs. Locals worry it's not getting the care it deserves. When we um, went up to use the amenities that were there, I found them in a really poor state. It's just not managed the way a national park area should be managed. It isn't the most attractive at the moment. We, we acknowledge that, but we are in a transition period. Tenders closed this week and Council's considering who'll run the spit in future. It is iconic in North Queensland and uh, we want to do that island justice. Whoever gets hold of it um, will have a lot, of, a lot of people watching them and, and we can't wait to see what the Council come up with. A revitalised spit could bolster the local economy, which suffered in the aftermath of the cyclone. Without the resort, tourism dropped off. Five years ago it was pretty pretty, um, pretty dismal, but the, the, the town's evolving. There are a lot of empty commercial shops in Mission Beach, and not everyone has coped. There's wide frustration amongst Mission Beach locals that for years the Dunk Island Resort has only been used by the owners, their family and friends. Residents worry the only way it'll ever be reopened to the public is if it's sold. We really do need Dunk Island to be up and running again in full strength rather than the way it is now. Neither Peter Bond nor the resort replied to requests for comment. The state government says it would prefer the resort open to the public, but that's a matter for the private owners. Casey Briggs, ABC News, Dunk Island.